Hi y'all and welcome to our channel. This is Alki, our 91 Dodge B250 van. We are Berkeley, Monica, and Koa. And so far on Alki, we've stripped the van and we've done some minor repairs to the floor and to the roof, as well as building out the subfloor. Our walls come next and wow was this tricky. Alki, like most vans, has curved walls, which normally I wouldn't think twice about. But trying to put up somewhat straight walls seemed like it really tested our skills and our patience. We spent almost three weeks working on them. Most of that time was spent fishing, a great excuse to procrastinate. Look at a tourist mom. <laughs> All right, what happened? It's your fault. <laughs> we followed, followed, we follow, followed a path. See that path right there? <laughs> it led us to uh, a Forward! Forward. We go forward. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Alright. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's a stream. <laughs> a stream? <laughs> a puddle? <laughs> oh, there's fish in it too. Oh! Is that a frog? Was it? I don't know. Oh, it's a huge frog. It's over there. No, there's tiny baby fish in there though. Okay. Uh, I feel like if we just... Go up there. Yeah. Just don't step in the mud. Mm. Okay, no. <laughs> That's not a bread. No? Okay, hold that. Hold the phone? Hold the phone. What am I gonna do when you get across? I'm not gonna do that. You're not a bread. What? Okay. Ow. Feel like, feel like that's good enough. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm getting touched by stinging nettles, so that's cool. Right. A little bit fern on it. All right. Bridge? Literally right there. Hey, remember that one time I was like, we should stop on that bridge and walk down. Uh, this is where it leads. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's not the answer, y'all. It's just water. Like, what? <laughs> 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 okay. Pass the beer. It's good. Thanks for using my bridge that I just made. Oh, oh gosh. Just step on the wood already. <laughs> All right, we made it to this far. All right. Okay. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, but that was a big frog. It was a big frog. Also, this is like a full rest. Stream. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, something probably crawled through here once or twice. Oh, I see the cars. I told you we were close. I knew where we were going the, the whole time. <sighs> Success. Made it. See? Well, it's so bad. <laughs> this is the moment that this entire build changed for me. Getting this pothole jig was probably the best decision that either of us ever made during this whole process. It basically allows you to drill things in at an angle to make seamless transitions. So using it for cabinetry and just connections to the floor, it's amazing. If you guys don't know what it is, it's a pocket hole jig. Look it up, get it. It needs to be in your toolbox. Okay, so this was the cubby that was originally inside the back of the van. So it sat 
up here. It had speaker on each side. And then this was a vent. So we had the vents on each side as well for like heat, I'm assuming AC. Originally, we were just like planning on completely like tearing these, trashing them, and then building a whole new one. But. Drawing lines. Drawing lines for what? Cut another box. Cut another hole. Make a cut. So we're gonna do one right there and then one right here. Possibly leave them open faced. And then the last thing that we're gonna do. So this is, oh God, sorry. I understand that I'm just like really messing up your stuff right now. Mm -hmm. So that's the door that flips up. So this would be where the ceiling is. This is the bottom of the piece. We are gonna take these hinges out by new hinges and then actually install them upside down so that this will flip down and then that way we'll have a perfect little platform to put our projector. So when we wanna use the projector, it'll sit in the middle of that and project over here where we're gonna have the curtain for the actual screen itself. All I have is just videos of me talking <laughs> and then photos. I need more. Huh? Of you! For what? Doing the jobs you do! <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, I'd like to buy a gimbal. <laughs> okay? What did you build? Don't want to tell anyone? Oh, I thought you were just talking about something. Oh, talking to you? Half a box. But what does it look like? We'll never know. Here's the real pass, though. Oh man, I don't get the cool reveal. <laughs> I'm not sure what you were thinking. Boo! Oh, I thought it was going the other direction. Uh, maybe wow! Not. I gotta change. Maybe, maybe fix it. It's a box though. Box? Oh, it's a good box. Well, but it's still, it's your box. It's our box. It is my box. My box is it. Today, 
We are working on painting. Berkeley actually went up for Father's Day to um, see his dad and be with his family. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting and doing some more caulk around um, a lot of the wood to like metal connections and then possibly some inside the van as well. I'm not quite sure yet, but um, super stoked today. It's been really crazy, but um, I'm pretty sure there's something in the boards we bought. It's probably the adhesive. It could just be the sawdust. But when I've been out here, I've been having to wear my mask that I bought for quarantine because whatever it is causes me to have like serious allergies, congestion, like I literally cannot function. It's so bad. Um, and then I just have to go inside for the rest of the day. So there's been a couple days where I've been out here and I've been able to wear a mask and that's been able um, to work a little bit, but it's just, it's so irritating. And then I feel so bad because then Berkeley's up literally all night because my snoring is apparently out of this world ridiculous. So um, yesterday I took a day off from the van and he was so sweet and went through and like completely vacuumed everything out of the van and cleaned it. Um, so that way today I can just spend as much time as possible out here painting and getting everything ready while he's not here cutting anything um so yeah hopefully we can get a lot done i'll go through and take a quick look and show you guys everything and then we'll get started all right so we've got one side door here that's just been built and does not have any caulk around it yet and then we've got this door that berkeley finished the other day and built this really cool little shelf out of that holds like i mean this is a massive uh, one liter bottle. So it holds two of them this way. And then who knows how many that way, probably like four or five. Um, but that door was finished. Um, we're gonna go ahead and call around here. That was just a quick little snafu. And then on the back doors, I've actually already gone through and added all that in. So basically it's just making this seam right here. I have to go through and scrape a little bit off, but um, seaming up pretty much like anywhere where there's cracks, um, all on the sides around the bottom and then on the other side. And then this one was the first one that I did. So I've already gone through and done that, um, yesterday and then now I'm taping it just to paint it. Um, yeah. So that's basically what we're going to do. Good morning, Koa. Good morning. Are you ready? I'm ready to start the day. Yes. Oh, thank you. Where are you going, buddy? Good night, YouTube. It's like 6 p.m. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I think we have lunch at 5. Nice. So. <laughs> so discouraged. <laughs> it looks so good, even though it looks so bad. You know, it's all wrong. Yeah, but like it's still like it looks. It looks good. decent, but it's just not right. <laughs> like if it was like like the window. If the stuff, issues weren't there, it would be fine. <laughs> the window so like that will be easy for me to destroy because like it looks like shit. I know. So like it's easy, but like <laughs> everything else doesn't look like shit. I mean it does, but it doesn't. It's the weird ceiling gaps over there. And this joint. And the broken wall bit over yeah. there. And the window sills. Yeah, okay. Shit. No one's afraid to say it. What are we doing? Fixing. Destroying. We're literally demolition round two is what you said before we came outside. You want to show them what you're sitting on? That's kind of exciting. That's happy. Yeah, we're halfway through the build and we finally got the correct tools. <laughs> it's regular saw. Safely sitting on a, a table saw. Crotch shot. Crotch shot, yes. 
So maybe our lines will be better. Straighter. They'll be straighter and cricketer. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Yay. Let's fix a problem. Not discouraging at all. We just gotta do it. Oof. So we've made a big decision. That basically the way that the wall sits, the ceiling sits, how that wall is cut here and then also down here. You can see there's a gap now in it. But it's just not something that we can like fix. It's something that just needs to be done better. So. afternoon it's 1 p.m. this is pretty much every every day we start our day at 1 p.m. because not everyone is a morning person I am Berkeley's not you can see he's not so ready to be here look at that Anyway, so as of yesterday, we've owned the van for two months. And this is our two month update. So we've got walls, we've got ceiling, a whole cubby built in the back. Still missing walls on the corners on both sides. And then we also have that wall all done. The chairs were Frankenstein together, so that way we have the best pieces of the four chairs that we originally had. The framing and the subfloor is done, wheel wells are done, insulation's done. We've got we made one mosquito netting magnetic door situation for the back. Waiting on more magnets from Amazon so I can do the side door. So that's all ready. We basically need a couple pieces of trim, a little ceiling on that like metal roof area right there, some walls in the back, and then that's pretty much it. And we just got to paint. And then we can officially move on to building the bed frame, the sink, food storage, the kitchen. I think that's it. That's, there's not really much else. All the doors are done too. A lot just needs to be painted, touched up, and then it'll be good to go. Huh? No, I'm gonna put it back. I just wanna. So 
real quick here, a couple changes that we made. We did use the overhead cubbies as a template, but unfortunately, even the back one was cracked, so we did actually have to go through and make our own completely. Uh, when we put the new wall up, we did a 2x4 that we actually cut down and curved. So that way it was um, the same shape as the wall itself, but it was the proper thickness. So that way the wall on the bottom didn't have the crack like it did before. We also put that wall into two sections that were equal in size um, rather than before we had one that was kind of like an L shape, which I think also was causing some issues as far as the actual stability of the wall itself goes. Coraline is back at it again. Um, we are about two months deep into this van build and I finally got to put paint up yesterday and went like a little paint crazy and did quite a bit. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, we're actually gonna get to put the color up today which I'm so excited about. So we have two colors that we're gonna throw up on these walls, which I'm stoked about because I feel like the white was just kind of like a little daunting and like obviously very patchy because it was just like the first coat. So I'm definitely super stoked to get the color on there. Yesterday we got the ceiling finished, Berkeley finished the cubbies, and did like some cool like little finishing touches on those which is awesome. Um, we're gonna leave those out until I paint all the walls and then we'll put them in so that way I'm not having to tape around them. Um, and we actually might stain them. We're not sure, so we'll see. But yeah, basically like it's actually starting to come together. I'm super stoked because as soon as we get this done, we have like a couple more like little ceiling slash wall pieces to do and then we get to start building the bed and then bed's done and then the kitchen and then the toilet and then and then we're done which is like so dope our goal is to finish by berkeley's birthday which is the 25th i'm pretty sure that's in like 10 days don't think that's gonna happen it was a very ambitious goal I guess <laughs> to say the least but you know whatever it's fun we're like not doing anything else we really don't have anything else to do like a lot of people so um like a lot of people because of the coronavirus not throwing shade at other people <laughs> but COVID-19 that's why so yeah um I'm just gonna basically do a whole bunch of taping and then hopefully do both colors but at least i'm gonna be able to get one color completely done so i'm stoked we're gonna start with the kitchen bathroom it's mainly just the bathroom that's that's what we're doing doing the bathroom so yeah let's get started